guys, it's Queen Nita, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain to episode 5 of Over the Moon for you, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, let's see what the heck happened today with our lovely couple. Is your show coming on? Yeah, do you even have a TV? Do you have Wi-Fi? <laughs> so like shark needle, but in space. <laughs> uh, I mean, like I've already seen that. I mean, how, like, I don't even like Star Wars, and I've seen Star Wars. <laughs> Do you? True. Yeah, she read about that. And it makes me sometimes wonder, like, how people can marathon without going to, like, oh my god, I can't do it. So it's supposed to be Avatar? Of course, she's watching it too. Well, uh, I mean, unfortunately, no, she ain't watching it because they don't have a TV. Mm, see, that's a hard point. Yeah, exactly. Mm, definitely Sony. She don't care. She just want to watch. <laughs> She's such a cute nerd. But still, I mean, you know, hell, when buying a TV, it's just about, you, he has so many questions, and that's fine as, you know. Sometimes it is better to buy the cheaper one, but, you know, never you never really know. You gotta look at and compare, and sometimes it gets way too much, and then sometimes you just don't want to be like, I don't want to go to the store. I just want to order on Amazon, or order on any other freaking website, and then have it shipped to my house, or like apartment, or whatever. But yeah. I'm still wondering, like, still, like, how the hell can some people watch, um, like, marathon a series of movies 
without like no breaks. I can't do that. I mean, did I ever go see a movie uh, like a marathon movie? Not really. I don't think I did. But um, if I did, oh god. <laughs> I know, like, when they did uh, the lead-up to Avengers or, like, any other Marvel film, because, like, now, because there's so many Marvel films, oh, my God, like, the hours. I was like, uh-uh, I can't do that. I was like, look, I w I'd rather do that in my home where I can pause the movie and go because I don't like to leave when a movie is, like, playing because <laughs> I hate it because I feel like I'm going to miss something. So I'm like, nah, uh-uh, uh-uh. Pause that ish. Go do my business. Come back with my food and everything. And just continue. Because <laughs> then you gotta ask somebody what the fuck you missed. And then you don't really feel like sitting there like listening to them describe ish. <laughs> oh, NASA. like the cutest kiss ever. <laughs> oh, he's such a cutie patootie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you guys have been married for now four going on five episodes and you haven't even gotten a ring yet. Okay, hold on. What do you think she's gonna want? A tattoo ring? That's the f every girl wants a damn ring. Not no tattoo ring. There are some girls who want a tattoo ring. But still, we want a ring. So that we can literally be like, if a guy comes up and floor, be like, nah, look at that. Or like a freaking Neil Lane or one of them Disney ones or uh, oh my god Tiffany's <laughs> that's a dream ring I, I know right I thought it would be you would kiss him first and then eventually play oh my god baby boy is getting confidence and I love <laughs> well, it depends. Because they can cost like a lot, a really hefty penny. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> He's so cute and they're embarrassed. Oh my god. So
You can if you want to. I mean, either one of you could start the conversation. I mean, come on. Any girl would be lonely not to be with their their husband, boyfriend, or anyone. Like, come on now. Oh my god, stop it. Oh, Naza. Well, this is just awkward. I mean, you know. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> oh, there's such two peas in a pod. <laughs> She'll always be here. Like I said. <laughs> See, you know, if you had a ring on your finger as well, you could look at it. Just to remind her of you. Like, to remind yourself. Yes! Yes! That or a picture of her. My boy is learning, and I love him for that. Like, oh, good job. Hell, even if it's just two silver bands, one for you and one for her, that's fine. She'll love it no matter what. I mean, shit, I would. I mean, oh, if she says no, I'll take it. Oh, no. So... But it's cute when a husband gets romantic. Hell, even when a boyfriend gets romantic. Well, she can just have the diamond ring. I. Mm hmm. Yes. <laughs> mm hmm. 
No wedding rings. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is just a band. So that could be one with diamonds all over it for her and a simple one for you. Instead of just getting her, like, a big diamond engagement ring. It, yeah, that too. So just buy her a simple diamond band wedding ring. Yes, diamonds are expensive, but you could find fun at a reasonable price. Yeah, that's so. Yeah, of course. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you might as well just say yeah. No, I don't think he does. I mean, you could look up what cubic zirconia. Zirconia? Because those are a little bit cheaper than diamonds, but they're still, like, high a price. It just depends. <laughs> yeah. Expensive. It, no, no. <laughs> so y'all just gonna stand there? Like I said, you can go on Amazon and buy a cheaper ring, like, mm, cubic zirconia, probably like under a hundred or even over. Yes, we get that, but still, you don't need to spend that much money on her. If she insists, then no. Not so. Yeah, it's probably where cheaper ones are. See? But it's just as good. Oh, God, that's so pretty. Uh-huh. It's still expensive though, but
she's considerate. I love that about her. And I get the fact that she doesn't want to have a ring. There are some women out there who are, like, okay with not having a ring. Some people, like I said, some people will get tattoos instead of just an actual ring. Mm-hmm. And a little bit of his own, but mostly you. <laughs> Was it a pair? There we go. Perfect. It's okay. It's perfect. It's simple. Just like you two. It doesn't have to be extravagant and glamorous and everything. Just something simple and sweet. True. <laughs> but at least you have them. That's all that matters. Oh my god. But yeah, as I said, are we now getting the ending for this? No, we've already gotten the ending for this. Okay. As I'm saying, um, most females do or don't really like to have a big glamorous ring when it comes to like some tv shows that they usually show on tv as of now bachelor bachelorette the ring is the most iconic thing because that's the thing that she's going to be wearing on her finger for possibly the rest of her life or until you know the marriage ends typically but um looking at like kneeling diamonds or something from tiffany's or any any of them Big, big ring jewelers. I mean, those are expensive as hell. And me, I, I like big things, flashy things. I think rings are pretty. Um, but still, at the same time, I like something simple. Like I said, something, a simple band with diamonds on it, that's fine. It just depends on how much you really want. Sakasa is just the type of girl who does like simple things and she doesn't need it to be extravagant or anything for Natsu to profess her love to him. I mean, to her. Because there's different interpretations of love. There is emotional love, physical love, and then gift love. And it seems like Casa is more of a emotional physical. Rather than someone who's like, if I give her a gift, this is my love for her. Nasa seems like he is that type who's like, okay, I'm assuming that she wants a gift. Let me give her something to show her. This is how I feel about you. This is my love to you and such. But now he's slowly but surely learning that it's like, okay, yeah, you can still give me a gift and I love it, but it doesn't have to be the most expensive thing. She's making him think about things that he can buy for himself and, or for the house or for each other instead of just always truly thinking about her. Yes, I mean, that is your wife and you want to deck her out in anything, especially like, let's say one day they got a kid as well. But... Sukasa is just that type of girl who's like, you know what? No, like, don't always think about me. Think about yourself and maybe think about the house and everything else before you think about me. Maybe one day she'll, you know, change her mind on it. But yeah, the bands are simple. And sometimes, yes, simple is the best way. It just depends on the girl. And, and then it also depends on how much you are willing to spend. Because I, I can't imagine, like, I've seen stuff on Amazon for diamond rings and especially engagement rings. And they are expensive. Hella expensive. So, 
like I said, some people, what they do is when they get like a really expensive ring and especially if they're going on a trip to like Jamaica or um, England or anywhere and they don't want to take that expensive ring with them, they just buy like a, a cheap 20 to 30 dollar one on Amazon and they use that still as their wedding ring or they'll just get a simple band or whatever but it really at the end of the day it depends on what we as females want when we're looking for a ring you know we may do like some hit hit here and here and be like oh I like this one or you go to the store and you try on that and be like mm, yeah that's a nice fit and everything and then you sit there and you may probably want to you know wonder if they'll really remember that 50 out of 50 maybe they will and maybe they won't but it just really depends on the end of the day but this episode was hella adorable it was cute I mean they just had so many cute moments and yeah it was just freaking cutie patooties hanging out together and going to work and her missing him like oh my god but yeah other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode five of over the moon for you if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the matches squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next friday for episode six bye guys